guys, Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode three of the Idol Master Cinderella Girls Under 149. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, only elementary. I think you should made an Instagram page. Right? media to say that because in the original series like she's been on stage so it's still weird to find out where this is in the timeline
banana. I mean, you know, I ain't saying I don't have anything wrong with Nana. Nana. Nana just likes to come home for me a lot. And I don't like that. Now, like the last Shin card that came home for me was the school roll one. And then I still have to say for so much more. You're gonna see drunk Shin. <laughs> see, this is why, once again, after 20 is spin off, needs to be an anime adaptation. I need to see my drunk babies getting drunk. <laughs> this guy! <laughs> Even though it's a poster, it's still my best girl. But if I hear her and the rest of this series, I will probably die of combust and excitement. Once again, baby has the best outfits. Like, oh. <laughs> Of course. Shane is like, here, I'm gonna give you some candy to be happy about me. It's so cute. Oh, they're okay. This is the song. Yeah. See, that's the type of tea she needs after a real good drunk night. See, now that wants me to play that song and master, because, like, see, me, I'm only good at pro songs. I'm good for master songs. There's two songs. <laughs> two songs I'm good at.
<laughs> yeah. Well, she's. <laughs> We over here using OBS too. Oh my god. Hmm? Hmm. Something tells me she's accidentally going to press the button. Where's your phone? <gasps> it's gonna press the button, I just know it. No! No! Oh God! You know, I gotta like the fact that in this series, Nana's hair is not as red as when you're looking at any of her cards. Because this, like, orange, like a carrot orange red. But right here, it's more burgundy-esque. Like a, maybe a sunburn. <laughs> oh, God. Kill it! Something. Oh, God. Something. Do something. John. <laughs> My God. Okay, you know what? We're going to continue this. Ah, uh, oh no. No, please don't. No, 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 no. Chin, chin. <laughs> She, I'd be giving in the power of money because money. Bye bye.
Well, we wasn't expecting it for you to go like that. We were all expecting you to cry, baby. You're doing good. We're going to talk about the fact that she always wants to come home and I don't want her to come home. Did good.
Oh, God. Wait, his briefcase! Briefcase! The briefcase! <laughs> Why was candy scratched out? <laughs> Bungee jumping? Well, we know what next week's about to be about. Oh, Momoka. Baby. <laughs> she don't know what she into next week. I'm thinking the job is for everybody. That they are all going to bungee jump together, which is cute. All right. I thought it was very interesting because we, okay, just in this moment, I got to compare it to um, Oshino no Koi, I think, the My Favorite Idol show with I. Um, so I can't say spoilers because my friend who is also watching this show and possibly is watching my video by the time he watches this, um, I don't think he has seen the first episode. So all I'm going to say is the the social media portion specifically the live stream and what the my favorite idol show is about and stuff it kind of gave feels towards that and you know i was expecting media to cry especially with those um comments and stuff really mean and negative comments and stuff because i mean she's still a kid she's not like me or shin or we could say nana Nana is an adult, even though she is technically a certain age forever, or like Kaede or any of these other, you know, social media influencers who do have those thick stomachs and are able to, you know, take that tough criticism. I was really expecting her to just, once again, straight up break down, cry in front of Shin, in front of the girls, in front of the producer, and literally having a moment and then escalating it to the comments getting even worse and she's crying even more but she looked at the comments still as a positive way and so I really am proud of her for that I really really have to applaud that because like I was expecting it to go a completely different way like I said with the my favorite idol series and how they are tackling the dark side of the idol slash entertainment industry and such and how like I said very much dark it can be and toxic it can be because as someone who is in the social media norm and who does YouTube and who is on social media and stuff yes you're going to see a lot of toxic negativity things either every day every other day sometimes um to the point where it's like you you are close to having a breakdown and having a moment and, it, and it's truly sad i mean i think if i can if i can you say one experience or one moment that has happened to me where i broke down like i, I can list several so i'll list one of one of my least favorite things so when i started um you know how everyone always says like once you get to your once you get past 100 and getting up to like a certain milestone, it's kind of easy. But my biggest issue, and this is what I kind of tell to anybody who gets into YouTube or just anything in social media, it is a little hard to get to your first 100. Um, yes, you have friends and family who are instantly going to follow you because you tell them, oh, hey, I'm thinking about doing this and you go through with it and such. But 
um, the biggest thing that I learned in my first year, so starting May, I started in September, um, of 2016 and then you know continued on there like first i wasn't really doing anime reactions i was just doing um like new stuff like for <laughs> not really more for anime more for gaming that was working parts and then i think when uh the show keijo and magical girl rising project um started airing that was when i was like well you know what I'm gonna be different. I was like, as much as I love reacting to like Kingdom Hearts news and talking about that and stuff, I was like, my other love is anime and how much I like to talk about it and then doing other things. And who would have known? God forbid. I I didn't even know at that time of where it was going to go. And and I'll tell you, like it was a very hard journey. I think any time when I had moments of. I was on a high and then, you know, I had people unsubscribe to me for some weird reason and I would, so like anytime if I took a step forward, when people unsubscribed to me, I felt like I was taking like a bazillion steps back and I started questioning myself and I was like, well, maybe if I do this or maybe if I look like this, you know, and such, maybe they'll like me more. And so when I started questioning myself and how I should do things, that's when I was like, I, I, in a way I was kind of saying it's not seeming fun for me at the moment. And so I said, I have to kind of really ignore the negative comments when the people automatically like unsubscribing to me just because I say this is that and the third and stuff. You do it because at the end of the day, you love it. You have a passion for it and such. And once again, like <clears throat> on my old channel, my old channel did get to 10k before it officially, you know, got terminated due to copyright strikes and everything. And I still hold that. Like, that is my baby. Like, this is still my baby too on my other channel, even though this was, this channel was the gaming channel. And the new gaming channel is another, is the backup. Like, the, the fourth backup that I've made just in case. Um, So, I'm literally, even now, I'm at... I'm back to 5k again and I still applaud that because it's like you made that milestone and you know that this next one that's your even greater milestone and stuff I mean am I still popular I in my opinion I think I am even though I'm like I'm not in a lot of like reaction mashups and stuff for certain shows because the biggest thing is my challenging is these shows come out while I'm at work and stuff and so my issue is I have to do it when I come home between three and four o'clock and then by the time it's I'm already out for you guys a lot of you have already moved on and such and you've already watched the episode and you're going into something else so I'm still playing catch up that's like I think the same thing with most of my other um any two friends that I've made uh friendships with and gotten to talk to and stuff we're all you know multi <laughs> tasking with everything and such and you know and I'll say another thing is there are going to be days where it's going to be hard there are going to be days where it's going to be easy and such and this is why sometimes I have to um sometimes take a step, step back you know because I don't want to get burned out and stuff that has happened to me before as I said with Skip and Loafer um that's why I was like this has to be the last show I can't do anything else because I I love working myself to the bone I really do but at the same time like I get very like stressed sometimes on myself and I'm like oh my god I think I'm doing too freaking much and then having to come home and do, do more I get even more stressed and then I'm tired and everything but it's just I still love doing this I really do and I would love to make it my like full-time job you know to have it to be able to be paying more than my current job and stuff and then anything else that I want to do but it's still my my little, I like to call it my quote unquote part time job and such because I do get paid for it and such. And I'm glad, you know, the experiences that I've gotten on here for the last like, what we're on like six years on my channel for, for me being on here. And it's, it's crazy. It's still crazy that I'm freaking popular in a country that I have never been to and such and that people watch me and they know me and I, I'm like I'm really afraid one day that I when I do go to Japan that I don't know what the heck is gonna happen to me when I get there but I am super excited for it I feel like somebody is going to just recognize me 
And I'm just going to be like, oh my god. <laughs> and I don't know how I'm going to handle it. Like, even the the friendships that I've made, the people that I've gotten to meet and stuff, I'm just very, once again, very, very thankful for that. And I think for this experience for media, she is also very thankful for that too. Because yes, it could have gone left field, but I am truly happy that it didn't go the way that I thought it was going to. Now, with Momoka... Um, and I think that was the comment, the person who commented last week. I think that's their best girl for next week. So I am excited that that person is getting a Momoka Focus episode. I am excited too because Momoka, she's not my, of course, my top five because adult P, Kayane P. Um, but I do love Momoka. I love all the kids for this series and stuff. And even the kids who are not voiced or, I mean, voice and unvoiced children because they're all freaking adorable. And I'm like. I kind of want your cards because you're just so freaking cute. Because any of the kids in this game, when you see them in any, like, cutesy little outfit, except, I'll, I'll say one. There's one because, it, and I, I like the card. I just don't like the way it looks on the model. Okay. You know, um, Kozue, uh, her Sinfest, the, the card is a beautiful card very pretty gorgeous card if i can find an image of it i'll put it in here and i'll like literally have it somewhere so that you can see it as well but when i saw it on the model because of the fact is she is a child i'm like mm, i don't know how to feel about it but it, it is still cute it's more like it gives me like the like underwater sea witch ursula vibes and a whole bunch i think it would look I can't speak work very well with the girl it's an unvoiced girl she's a cool girl um I know her signature has a hat on it I just don't remember her name I know I have one of her cards but it like I said I'll probably put both of the pictures on there if I remember before I get right out of this. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of the Idol Master Cinderella Girls Star. I'm about to start last night. <laughs> Cinderella Girls under 149. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode four. Bye, guys.